So you can see more 3D cell holders. You can barely see those are black. And the short ones are red. And once these are done, I'll have enough. Alrighty. So we got all three printers going. That's the um, the top of the case for the Suron. This is going to be a couple of battery holders for another battery. And this is the Suron little logo that I'm testing out. And uh, yeah. Okay, well, I had to transfer the remainder of doing this build inside because it's just freezing in the garage. It's minus three this morning. And uh, so I can complete this today. Um, yeah, we'll complete this today. Got everything ready to rock and roll. Oh, there's the big connectors. Um, these are the charging cables uh, and the Ant BMS. Okay. Um, so this here, what I've done was I've used an adhesive and the tape, and um, I think that's going to hold up just nicely. I just can't wait to test this thing, even though it's like really cold outside. Uh, but this weekend is going to be 13 actually, so which is about 58 degrees. So, yeah. Stay tuned. So I have the ANT <coughs> BMS hooked up. <coughs> Fucking freezing in this garage, man. And this is beyond fucking cool so right now it's balancing this pack uh, which is only out 0 0.016 volts let's see how good it does we'll come back and um, well we'll come back in a half an hour just for laughs so um, yeah so I had to remake the uh, the top because uh, it's not wide enough. Um, so they're my leads for the negative, and then I haven't done the positive side yet. It's a little bit messy because I just want to make sure that this thing works. Um, yeah, this is one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best BMS units you can buy. And unfortunately, it's got a couple of quirks. You turn it on and off with this, which I don't, don't like, which I can do with one, uh, one cell. But anyway, we'll come back.